Hello friends, this video explains the history of Mexico, an epic of the Mexican people, one of Diego Rivera's greatest fresco murals. The mural covers more than 2,000 years of Mexican history, covers 544 meters and is located in Mexico City within the National Palace. But this video will only fully explain the first panel, Ancient Mexico painted from 1929 to 1930. I have another video that fully explains the entire mural. It's incredibly detailed and much longer. Please check it out to learn a lot more. This video only covers the first panel that you see on the far right. And here we go. Quetzalcoatl sits center stage and is a symbol of wisdom in ancient Mexico for millennia, most notably in Teotihuacan, as a feathered serpent, and to the Mexica, better known as the Aztecs, he's called Quetzalcoatl. He's a Mesoamerican deity, which he was, and also the name of a ruler for nations like the Toltecs, which he also was, and Quetzalcoatl was also associated with the arts and sciences. He's portrayed here with light skin, a fancy quetzal feathered headdress with a conch on his chest, the symbol god of wind, a hecat quetzalcoatl, which he also was. He appears to be holding a shilquat, the most potent weapon in the Aztec world. Tiwatiwakan's pyramids of the sun and the moon stand in the valley behind Quetzalcoatl. Tiwatiwakan was one of the largest and greatest urban centers in Mesoamerica especially Northern Mesoamerica, but its influence spread as far as Central America. The mural also appears to show the valley of Anahua in Central Mexico, where the Mexica ruled. In the top left, the head of the plumed serpent, Quetzalcoatl, is erupting from the volcano, likely a reference when Quetzalcoatl immolated himself. The inverted sun represents the premonition of ancient Mexico's destructions. And yes, native sources suggest they knew of their eventual destruction. And there is Quetzalcoatl's departure. After being disgraced while drunk, he transformed into the star or planet Venus. The bottom right are fine cotton producers. And here a farmer is planting corn with the coa a long-handled spade, which was extremely common. And remember, it was Mexicans, Mexican scientists that invented corn at the cross-breeding wild grasses for generations. And here are Mexican artists, probably amateca or feathered workers. Feathers were one of the most revered precious elements in the ancient world. And here are Mexican stone sculptors and another artisan working on a pitcher for liquids. Right next to him is a Tlaquilo, a scribe drawing a codex using a pictograph writing, which was prevalent in Mesoamerica. And yes, ancient Americans wrote books, libraries full of books. And here's a jeweler working with gold. Here's someone working on ceramics. And the Mamins were the principal method of moving heavy goods in Mesoamerica. In the top left are Mexica warriors. One of them appears to be an eagle warrior, one of the highest ranks in the Mexica army. A prisoner of war. And at the bottom is a dissident, denouncing powerful nations like the Mexica. It's an uprising! And the ensuing battle for local natives fight back. Now Diego Rivera was fascinated with Mesoamerican history. He personally collected over 60,000 Mexican artifacts. And here's all the data for the first section. Ancient Mexico. And that's the end of the first panel. Thanks for watching. Remember, I have another video which includes the entire mural describing more than a hundred historical figures over hundreds of years of Mexican history. Please check it out. Thank you.